Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And in this episode, folks, we are back in the Milviz FG1D Corsair that has been recently updated. It's been a long time since I've flown it, so I decided let's take it up to the skies and see how she operates. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier two and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below, and thank you to all of my current subscribers. Okay guys, so as I said, the Milviz Corsair was recently updated and today I just wanted to get back in it and check it back out. It's been a long time since I've flown it um, and the Corsair is probably one of my favorite aircraft of the era. Now, Milviz has done a lot of really awesome things with this particular aircraft and uh, today I just sort of want to get it up, get it started, listen to the sounds and just go have some fun with it. I'm not necessarily too worried about all the flights and features of it. It can do a lot. You can change out the armament panel. You can change out the armament on the wings. Uh, as long as you buy the actual Milvis version, I do believe there are guns that are available on it. Um, but uh, today we're just sort of taking it for a nostalgia flight. Um, I really do enjoy this aircraft. So let's go ahead and get it started up and we'll get on out of here. Fuel selection on, fuel prop set to max. Get those wings down. Oh, parking brake is not set. Why is the parking brake not set? Not sure why that happened. All right, set our barometric pressure here. Yep, yeah, there's your master arm and all that good jazz. All of our light should be down here. Everything else looks good for flight. Let's lock the wings. Controls check. I love it. I love how it just pushed the chocks around. Take the tanks off. Take the wheel chocks off. Those are armament panel. I love the sounds. One of my favorite aircraft of all time is this Corsair. And by the way, the startup process does work perfectly fine, guys. Just usually I have trouble with it because I don't 
get it quite right, and so to save you guys the headache of watching me fiddle with it, I figured I would just do the auto start. Plus, like I said, I really just want to get up and fly today. Whoa! Easy tailwind. Alright. Alright, let's watch our manifold pressure. I know I'm gonna want right rudder, or left rudder, and a little bit of right aileron, so I'm already starting there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Tailwheel's coming up, doing my dance. There we go. Should be good for rotation. Hey, watch the guy. He can be taught. Just look at that thing, man. I love the Corsair. Such a beautiful aircraft. Figured a nice commemorative flight here just be fly around Honolulu. Dive brakes on it and everything like that work, you guys. So if you guys are interested in exploring those features, make sure you check this aircraft out. It is a beautifully done rendition of it. And there are videos where I've done all that in the past, you guys, so just search my channel for the Corsair and you'll find them. But uh, a lot of the times, this was for, my, for the longest time, this aircraft was my go-to when I just wanted to go up and chill. And you can blow the oil on it, you guys. You can blow the engine on it, so you want to be careful on how you fly it. For the longest time, this was my go-to plane when I wanted to just go off uh, camera and just sort of do my own thing. This was this was definitely my aircraft of choice. The new world update for Honolulu didn't do too bad, though. Though some of those squared-off tiles are, I feel like, could have been shaped up. I guess it's not that new anymore, is it? Oh, that's why it's turned off. There we go. I still do do, do use X Enviro. I still like it. Just forgot to launch it at the start of this video, so we're just sticking with the good old live weather. I don't think live weather is bad by any means.
I don't think I had any armament on it, but pretty sure the armament, like the guns, are fired using uh, the water rudder. Between the sounds and the flight model and the challenge of flying it, like landing it is very special, trust me. You guys are probably going to laugh at me as you guys get to see that part. I just love this plane. It's a fun plane. It's either, it's cool to either get up and grip it and rip it. We can totally power through, get down low. Get some craziness involved here. It's fun to take up high and just sort of enjoy the clouds. It's a fun plane to do touch and goes with if you're willing to learn the darn thing, but it is difficult, not gonna lie. Alright, what's our airspeed? What are we looking at here? About 100 knots, 125. Start popping some flaps down. Highly recommend this one. This is definitely, in my opinion, Milvis does a great job. And I know they are, uh, what, not Black Square, uh, Blackbird Simulations now or something like that? I can't remember what they changed their name to, I'm sorry. No, I'm getting things wrong here, but uh, I, I love their aircraft, but uh, I think this one is, is still by far, I think it's the best one they've put out. And, and that speaks volumes, because they, again, they put out some really great aircraft. The Corsair is just too fun. Speed. All right, down low enough. Let's get that gear down. For me, I've definitely learned I try to go full flaps pretty early. You need a much steeper angle, I find, with the coarse air, just because it's got such a long uh, nose. The big O engine, the gigantic freaking prop, man. So I try to come in a bit steeper than usual. Well, this time I'm actually coming in a little shallower than I know. I just realized I was at like 200 knots. Idiot. <laughs> that was dumb.
again here. No, 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 easy. Come on. Come on, we got this. Whew. Okay, yeah, I always get nervous as all hell when it comes time to land this thing. Ugh. We have, uh, we have a love-hate relationship on landing. Uh, I hate doing it, and she loves to take me out. So this was this was one of our better days. <laughs> well, you guys, this is the Milvis Corsair again. If you guys really like the nostalgic aircraft, if you're a big Corsair lover like I am, I highly recommend you guys give this one a shot. It's a beautifully, beautifully done rendition of the aircraft. Again, there are a bunch of uh, features on this aircraft, such as uh, model weapons, if you will. There, there's no damage. Uh, there's no damage model. You can't shoot anything. You can't blow anything up. But, I mean, you can fire the guns. I think you can drop the bombs. Um, but it is such a good time. The sounds are fantastic. The experience is great. The flight model is fun. The landings and takeoffs are challenging, but they're not so much so that you want to throw the computer through the wall. Uh, really, really recommend this aircraft. It's one of my absolute favorites, especially in virtual reality. Uh, if you take this aircraft up in VR, find yourself something with a lot of clouds, go tearing through the clouds, just sort of bring yourself slowly through the canopy and just wait. Um, you guys can map things like the dive, uh, the dive rudders or uh, the dive flaps, etc. Um, and it just it makes things significantly more fun if you guys are interested in trying out what a dive bomb in Corsair would look like. Um, again, it, it's, it's a pretty impressive experience. Today I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to enjoy flying the aircraft and taking you guys along with me. But uh, anyway, again, that's the Milviz Corsair. As always, guys, let me know what you think of the aircraft down below. Stay safe and healthy. For those of you who will be there tomorrow, FS uh, Expo 2023, I will be there. Make sure you guys take a look for me. I'll have the Overkill hat on, the Overkill shirt, and, uh, you know, it should be a lot of fun. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.